Peggy 18. Let's just see the announcement. It's actually going to be Henry. There's just one man who gets What the fuck is this? A friend will never leave you stuck. This is so random. It's been a while. Oh my god, it's Henry! But now we can finally show you Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. The Trebuchet! It is time! These motherfuckers are still on CryEngine. Becoming more than a peasant. <laughs> you know the trouble with an adventurous life? It can end before it gets started. Congratulations tonight. You finally become a man. Wake, Wake up. up. Pull yourself together, Henry. Oh shit. Nobody will hand anything on a platter to men like you and me. You still have a long way to go till your work is done. God damn. Oh merciful God, be kind and protect us so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. Whoa. Same game. Yeah. Hello and welcome. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in-depth look at oh Kingdom my God, they're Come twins. Deliverance 2, an action RPG set in a realistic world oh, of the late Middle Ages. We're in Krittenberg, a gorgeous city at the heart of Europe, but also at the heart of KCD2. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. It's almost exactly 10 years since I was doing a video like this, uh, introducing our new game. It's almost exactly six years Bro, this since guy made this Mafia game One. Kingdom Come Deliverance was finally released. So now it's perfect opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years, which is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And, and where else to do it than in this magnificent cathedral in this royal city of Gutenberg, where the majority of this game takes place. Back then, 10 years ago, at the beginning, it was only 11 of us in a small office. Now it's 250 people working very hard for years to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG adventure. 
Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 follows the adventures of Henry, a young lad who barely survives the invasion of a raiding force on his village. Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family and burned his home to the ground. As a trusted squire and friend to young Sir Hans, our hero Henry is sent on a oh, simple yeah, that's mission. What, oh yeah, this but guy. Things turn ugly very soon. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a continuation of Henry's familiar. previous adventures, but the story's written in such a way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Henry is a character that I think everybody can identify with because he starts off as a kind of nobody and goes through life with all these immense challenges. And I, th I feel like everybody can relate to that. Hans is all the kind of fun Henry is relatable. And all the kind of Henry and joy is a good that Henry protagonist. Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing, and I think Hans really helps him to do that. Whew. You were right about our stench. <laughs> Let's hope this water isn't too cold. You wouldn't want your pride and joy shrinking. <laughs> I'm more worried about it being too deep. Come on. What we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't have enough resources and experience and all, all that stuff. We've proven that the concept works, and now we can take it to another level, which we always wanted. The game is much bigger in scope. Original game, we had, I don't know, three hours of cutscenes. Now we have more than five. Regarding the size of the world, it's two times bigger than it was. The story is longer and much more epic, so previously it was about an issue of small nobility with bandits in their villages. Now it's uh, about problems of kings. This is a behemoth of a game in comparison to the first, in my opinion. I think it's, I think it's got so much more energy and pace and adventure and action and fun and, and trial and tribulation and just everything that you could want from setting up the characters so beautifully in the first game and then throwing them out there and going, right, let's see what you're made of. This is going to be so much fun. Henry is a young guy, so he's not really like so deeply entrenched in his already, you know, set character traits. So you can build your Henry in a different ways. And that all means that it's actually on you who you want to be. You can save the world, or you can help to punish it for its sins. The combat is also historically accurate, but we don't want to do that for the historical reasons of something. We want to do that for the immersion, and we want you to feel. I, I really have. think the first game was so uh, was great, to, but to it did have flaws. By the enemies on the battlefield. I you wonder if this is now them the having as far as uh, missile weapons go. Fixing we a lot of those fucking weapons, heavy flaws. Crossbows. Also, some early They say they have more experience and resources now. Kingdom Come feels like the good old school RPG. Yeah, the game had a lot of jank you you in between the beauty of the game. Be better in combat, Anyone who played it knows exactly what I'm fucking talking, talking about. Who talks his way out of problems. You can be a but it's still knight, a really good game. A thief, you know, a scoundrel. Anything you do will be recorded, people will remember it. If they saw you do that, our crime system will react to that. For example, when you are, I don't know, drunk and naked, people comment on that on the street, and now you can also reply. You can tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, or you can tell them, uh, piss off, man. If you do a lot of criminal stuff around the village, people yeah, this will start like, this does look they way will you better. differently. So try to make these little things at least the faces. Into, like, mosaic where your actions are really reflected. It will always surprise you what can be done in Kingdom Come. Oh yeah, dude, the fucking uh, herb making yeah, was moving sick. To different places, so one map is taking place. Or whatever in the, the fuck it's called. Actual place that's called Bohemian Paradise. And it's really a beautiful nature of it, uh, quite unusual rocky formations all around. And then we are moving to a totally different, rather urban countryside surrounding huge 
silver mining, very rich city. So there's this big city. The Gutenberg is a huge step forward for us and it was, I would say, biggest challenge in the game. Because uh, from those small outskirts and uh, small cities, you are really getting in the one of the richest cities in the medieval Europe. And it's really big. It's even too big, in my opinion. <laughs> we are trying to go beyond that usual uh, muddy, dirty, medieval world, dark ages where everyone is dying uh, from famine or on war. It was really like colorful, like uh, it wasn't dark at all. Well, we have really beautiful environments, like players should go and explore all those like little woods. It's and very rare to see CryEngine games, so castles. it's still cool that the thing that I love about there's the game devs and studios like this working with that engine because the nature is really beautiful, especially when everyone's on Unreal really Engine. Serene, peaceful, and it's full of secrets. Wait, they're not using CryEngine anymore? It is UE? Oh. Oh, fuck. So they switched engines. The music is. Well, never mind. Big part of the game. Jan Valta is the composer as with the first game because I think he's also his genius. God damn, every studio switched, huh? This game was always cool because it was pure medieval. No, no dragons, nothing fantasy. A pure medieval RPG. you can experience something you cannot experience anywhere else. I think players will be really impressed by that. <laughs> My message to the fans would be you are in for a ride. Thank you for all your support. Please follow us on our journey to create something unique. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 will be released by the end of this year. Damn. See you in KCD2. Fucking releasing this year. It was just like coming 2026. Nope. Guess what? This year, KCD2. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> Kingdom Come Deliverance. <sighs> I is a great RPG, man. Great fucking RPG. But it has the flow of the game has it has a solid amount of jank in it. That I'm hoping it reminds me of like it was like a high double A game. Maybe KCD2 after its success, now they're able to, you know. Like they said, maybe maybe it is legit. Now they can kind of show what their true vision was. And the game would be way better if a lot of that like weird jank wasn't in it. On top of the fact, some of the flow of the quests were just kind of like. Uh, it was just kind of, you know, a little boring or just like odd. You never finished it. I'm on the last quest of the game, you motherfucker. OK, I was actually going to beat it, but we're playing this other fucking game and then fucking no rest is out. 
If it was a regular day, I would have actually built the treb. But that's that's awesome though, dude. I'm surprised that shit's coming out this year. What the hell is going on, bruh? It is on CryEngine, by the way. Lies. You guys said it was Unreal Engine. <sighs> Warhorse Studios. Do they have a official website? Of course they do. There is no mention of Unreal. How do we know? I don't think, I don't know how we would find out. Oh, is there an interview? Tell me about the decision to stay with CryEngine. Where was that fucking asshole in the chat who is like, Oh yeah, it's Unreal Engine, dumbass. Tell me about the decision to stay with CryEngine. The easy answer would be that we stayed with the CryEngine because all our internal pipelines are built around it. And I'm sure that every developer on Earth gripes about the engine they're using in Dreams or something else that is a natural way of things. Unreal Engine? Oh, what opportunities does it afford over Unreal Engine 5? Uh, did you say anything about that? Yeah, they're, the devs are just used to the engine and all their fucking inner systems are all tied into CryEngine. You know, even look at fucking Helldivers. Wasn't Helldivers built on some fucking weird-ass ancient fucking engine that only they knew how to really work into making what is Helldivers? Because a lot, even even look at fucking From Software. They don't, they don't switch off of their engine. They push their engine to the limit. And all their fucking engineers are From Software. It's just like... It's almost like, uh, it's like an instrument. They just are really good at playing that fucking instrument. Even if there is something better, like, uh, fucking CD Projekt Red is on UE5 now. They used to use RE Engine. But whatever. I mean, shit. <clears throat> they are still on CryEngine, which makes it even more interesting because there's not a lot of CryEngine games that uh, that are made, especially in 2024. It's very rare. So seeing Kingdom Come Deliverance still keeping up with that is kind of sick. So we'll see.